Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be covering the substantial move down here that we have seen on Bitcoin, where I am looking to trade this and why we are bouncing right now. Uh, so yeah, there is so much to cover in this video, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to go straight into the Bitcoin technical analysis and at the end of the video, I'm going to address uh, some of the emails I've received and you know the messages of support while I've been inactive, etc. So if you're interested in that, stay to the end, but I know the majority are not and they just are here for the technical analysis. So let's go straight into this because it's really really interesting what's going on here and uh you know let's let's go back from where why this drops happened originally obviously it was all around that daily level uh you know trying to reclaim the daily right up at 13k which ended in a swift rejection to the downside okay so as you can see here price coming up to our top daily level around 13k really trying but look at the very low volume really a very low volume reclaim and you can see what happened here let me zoom this out okay so what happened is you are trying to hold daily, bounce, bounce, you lose the daily level, okay, with a swift move to the downside, you come up and you back test this daily, uh, that this is where I entered a short, and I'm not interested in closing this short out and, until a, a sign of a reversal is basically found, and we haven't got one in the past six days, um, so this was a nice entry, but nevertheless, um, yeah, that's the reason why, you can see here, look at that massive spike in volume, you see, whole move up, low volume, low volume, low volume, your first big spike in volume, is a uh, red red cell volume okay so that's a telling story uh the bears have really been in control of this whole move down it has just been level flip after level flip and yeah the, the really high bear volume is obviously um you know a, a a sign of that really okay so obviously all started from that flip really flipped at that level and we're going to zoom out to the one hour and it's just like the same story repeated <laughs> on the whole on the whole way down really okay here you can see the weekly okay we come up we try to reclaim this weekly bounce bounce lost and there's your SR flip, you move down again, okay, and then this is what's happened today, again, there you found support on your daily, you lost it, eventually, you try and reclaim it, just like what you tried to reclaim up here, but eventually, you lose it, and you backtest it pretty pretty perfectly and you go straight through the monthly all the way down to our hourly level and I'll show you where I've got this hourly level from, let me remove this volume a second, actually just just be aware look at the volume by the way like this is uh obviously still on really high bear volume um so yeah that's that's something to be aware of but let me show you this hourly level that i've got right here okay so this hourly is off of our old old as you can remember then we were looking at this as a channel the old resistance has flipped into support for a pretty nice bounce here we're talking about uh two to two three hundred dollars bounce here okay so that's that's a nice bounce um, but at this moment in time, you do have to be looking at bounces for short opportunities uh, because this is very much in a downtrend right now. All I would say is where I'm looking to place bids is is in this order block. Okay, so this is our daily order block. Okay, our daily order block, and I've like divided this down into sections of levels where I am more interested uh, for for some bids here. Okay. So really, you're, I'm looking at support, you know, this strong support around 9,150, okay, that's obviously the middle, uh, 0 0.5 of this order block. Uh, so that's where I would, I would prefer, uh, you know, with ha having bids here, I prefer to the 0 0.5 to hold. If you start losing 9,000, then that is a red flag. It is, it is a red flag to lose 9,000, if I'm honest. Uh, and then we could come down to the levels where everybody's looking for, obviously, the, the CME gap fill uh, sat at 8,500. So you see here. Obviously, our monthly level here is 9,300. If you trade the CME futures, uh, then obviously we've got the gap uh, gap between uh, 8,985 and 8,515. Okay, so that's your gap that many people are looking to get filled. Okay, but you do have a monthly support 93 above it. Okay, coming back to BitMEX here, you can just see, you know, really there is a lot of support around here, not just in terms of the order block, but in terms of fibs. Okay, you've got overall fibs here. You've also obviously got around the one to one fib of this move down if you're looking at this as an ABC correction, which is sat at basically 9K. Okay, and this is if you're looking at this as an ABC, ABC, uh, it's kind of like a flat, so a three, three, and then five to come down in here, one, two, three, four, and a fifth, okay, that is your flat, or the alternative is obviously a WXY, um, you know, kind of, you can count it in both ways, there's not going to be too much difference here, but that's obviously a three, 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 but this is looking more like an impulse, isn't it, more like a five, so I, I'm under the, uh, you know, preferred count of an ABC flat, rather than a 333 WXY, just because this is looking more like five waves down, isn't it? And these are clear three threes. Okay, so, you know, the Elliott wave count is leaning towards a flat, uh, or, a, you know, a 
flat with the feld B coming down for, you know, kind of like an elongated, I guess, uh, C wave here. Um, however you want to <laughs> probably call this. Uh, but, you know, there, that, that, this is the region I'm looking at. You can see here they're coming down to the three minutes. He bounced pretty pretty nicely off of that hourly. You did bounce off of the hourly, um, and really, you know, you I have to now just imagine that there is going to be selling interest at some of these order blocks. So you're looking at like 10k. Um, if price got up to 10k, then there's going to be a lot of selling interest. I would imagine at these levels, if, especially if you can't manage to come up to 10.3 to to obviously come back onto this monthly, there is going to be a lot of obviously there's been a lot of resistance uh, formed on this this drop down. Okay, there is definitely going to be a lot of resistance. All of this is now resistance. But never, nevertheless, all of this area is strong support. So all of this consolidation, well, half consolidation that you saw here, this is obviously formed, going to form a cluster, uh, which one would imagine is support. Okay, obviously your fibs from low to high are going to be um, relevant here or potentially relevant in the coming days. And we can just put this as a standard and you can see here, 85 uh, 0 0.561872 um you know although yeah this has been a heavy move down and although i'm in a short position um I am nevertheless looking to take longs at this drop. I'm not uh, I'm not the kite type of trader that gets scared by this move down. I do still see this as a weekly uptrend. I am still interested in buying bitcoin. Uh, I'm not going to suddenly start shorting every move down. Um you know Yes, I'm comfortable in my short right now. I've, I've got no real reason to close it. The only real reason I'd look to close this out of this short is if a proper reclaim comes and then you t move up from that reclaim. So not like this. You just reclaim and move back down. You reclaim, you move back down. You want to see the reclaim hold and move above. And that's like, that's my signal to close the short. Okay. And then on the flip side for buys, yeah, I'm interested in this order block. You lose this and, I'm, and I'd be looking down towards, you know, 7.5. Um, but really, I see really strong support 9 to 8.5. Obviously, that CME gap is on my mind. I am aware of this, um, so you know one has to be trading that when they you know what they're doing there. So yeah, obviously on the flip side, so there's been some nice altcoin bounces. The one, the one altcoin bounce that's done so well, XRP. Ah, uh, I tried to long XRP. I tried to long XRP, and I just like fell so hard on XRP. You might say, how can you fail so hard, Daniel? It's it's up five percent. Yeah, I fell hard, but uh, I blame this on my mindset. I really blame that on my mindset. I do not know what I was thinking with that trade. I done like such a bad trade on XRP. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is what happens when you spend a, like a week no trading. Like your mind goes, man. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's been some, you know, th obviously this is all about the inverse correlation. So you see Bitcoin moving down, some of the altcoins are moving up. You know, there's that slight inverse correlation, although today uh, not many altcoins have done actually too well. But, you know, there's slept few of that inverse correlation. Oh, yeah, there, like 50 sats. That went to 50 sats. That's like such, such a good opportunity. But, uh, yeah, there's been like a few altcoins here and there. Um, obviously, the last update that I gave here was, uh, yeah, on about this, you know, after that bounce from 11K, because we bounced at 11K, you got like an $800 bounce, I think it was. Um, and then obviously, you know, like just like I said in this tweet, like you're just flipping levels, every level that, you know, even you come back to here, hold the weekly, where did you get rejected? You got rejected that weekly to the tick. And then, you know, you're just flipping levels coming down. And as, as I said on this tweet, uh, yeah really uh is not looking healthy on bitcoin down you go <laughs> so yeah there, there's been like no real surprise that we have just keep flipping the levels and moving down and all, all you want to see is some buy volume actually coming in uh which has been struggling we have actually been struggling to see that buy volume come in and i'm maybe hoping um uh you know i'm a reactionary trader day trader but i would like to see some bull buys coming in here and actually see a big bullish candle printed uh you know that remains to be seen it's all about probabilities and that's how i'll be trading this anyway you lose that level and i'll be looking then that net down to the uh, 8.5k um obviously on this bounce if, if you are interested in trading the bounce that's going on right now i'm actually not trading this bounce uh, but if you are, are trading this bounce then obviously you have to be looking up yeah i mean there, there's obviously real going to be real you know that you one would imagine this 10k region to be a strong resistance uh up to 10.3 uh i think that would be a very big sign of strength getting back up to 10.3 i can't see this bounce getting up here uh but you could just get a flag obviously you could never say never but it looks more likely you get a flag to come back down here okay obviously the reverse is that some you know you have to look at the volume really don't you and you can just see the volume is falling off okay the only way we're going to get back up to here for example or even up to here is if if, if some buys come in which are not happening at the moment until that happens i would just say well most likely there's a flag isn't it so um yeah that, that's my viewpoint and why i'm not interested in trading this bounce anymore um so yeah there's there's that and uh yeah, so that's kind of my Bitcoin technical analysis. Um, yeah, 
mid mid term, I'm I'm absolutely still looking for buys. Okay, I'm I'm not suddenly um yeah not not interested in buying. I'm not one of these traders that will get scared from this bounce. I'm really looking at it as as a nice opportunity. Um, but obviously you do want to have a, at least a hedge in these sort of situations for the trade. Um, just in case you do to go through straight through this order block. Okay. Um, so yeah, I would like to now address what some of my reasons for inactivity because some people like picked up. <laughs> I I, I came I, I you know I, it's it's so heartwarming for me. I probably had like I'm just gonna say about 20 emails, uh, you know, separate from direct messages of people that like read these and uh, emailed me, um, you know, concerns. And for me, like it was yeah, I didn't even expect that. So um, yeah, I just want to address now why I was inactive. Obviously, some people already know, uh, but you know, just so it's not like rumors going around, whatever, I don't know. Um, but yeah, obviously, you probably have been aware of, I've not been trading, I've not been, you know, hence why I'm not too bothered about any of this move down. But, uh, you know, life for me over this last few weeks, obviously, my nan went to hospital, she broke her hip. So I was looking after her in a hospital. And then uh, on Friday, my my granddad also went, you know, they, they've been uh, together for 65 years, they didn't spend a night apart for 65 years. Amazing. Uh, they're so sweet. And um, yeah, then on, on Friday, uh, my, my granddad got diagnosed with lung cancer. So um, yeah, so obviously, some people knew depending on they're in the discord, but uh, I just wanted to give out for everybody. So everyone's aware, like, um, you know, for me, like family is number one. Family for me is like the most important thing in the world, um, you know. And so this is the reason why I've been inactive. Okay, for me, it's actually been really hard. Um, but he is get he doesn't want treatment. Okay, he doesn't want treatment. But he's he's back home now. He's happy. My nan is back home, so they're back home together, and that make, is making him very happy. So that for me is really good. And he got back home today. So um, yeah, that's the reason why uh, you know I hate this word right here i hate it i hate it i hate it but uh you know life has to go on and so i will be back trading again uh probably in the next few days oh well tomorrow really I'm, I'm gonna start trading again uh properly um but yeah that was obviously a really hard situation and and for all the support that people shown me with the messages with the emails just like it, 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 it warms my heart so much to know that i have this community and following it's just so amazing um you know, my heart goes out to everybody. Thank you so much for those supportive messages. Uh, I'm not looking for any sort of, um, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want you to feel sorry for me. Okay. I, I, that's not what I'm after. I just wanted to address it openly and just say, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, don't worry for me. I'm, I'm okay. I am okay. So, um, Honestly, though, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I look forward to, yeah, giving you some more Bitcoin technical analysis uh, updates of how I'm trading this in the coming days. Obviously, this 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 probably about six last 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 week, a few weeks for me have been, um, you know, I'm not going to lie. Trading has not been on my uh, front of my mind, really. Uh, but obviously, things are getting a bit easier now. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking to get back into this again. Um yeah, so yeah, that, that that that's the update that I wanted to give on my personal sort of story here. Um, so yeah, um, closing words on Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, let, let's see if let's see if this bounce actually gets some follow through. Obviously, want to see some volume. Let's see how if we get any follow through to 10, 10 3. Okay, if not, we're just looking for that bear flag really down to that nine k. Oh well, this whole order block should act as support. Okay, this whole order block. So you're looking from nine four really down to nine three. So that five hundred four hundred dollar region. I'm looking for the bounce, uh, but if not, we're looking down to the CME futures gap next, okay? And then we'll move on to fibs. So, um, yeah, thank you everybody for this. Um, well, for, for watching the video, <laughs> thank you. And um, yeah, if you have enjoyed, I would always appreciate a like. That would be uh, really kind of you if you would like to do that. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I will catch you in the next uh, video update that I do, okay? If not, over on Twitter. And if you're interested in those tweets, uh, then obviously read from the bottom here, pause your screen, read from the bottom to the top. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that, that's the updates that I've done. So uh, yeah, this was the, uh, my second one. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Goodbye. Thank you.